Capricorn, welcome to your new moon in Leo reading. And let's start off with some advice and see how this is going. Well, you've got offerings here, so... You know, somebody, somebody has been laying some things up is what I'm getting. Somebody has been laying away or laying things up for quite a while. They have a lot to offer, a lot to offer. And that's really what I'm getting off of that. I don't know if it is seen clearly how much is up for offering or how much someone has to offer. Um, I'm hearing it's there for the taking. It's there for the taking. So that's what I'm getting intuitively off of that. Um, we'll talk more about that card as we get to the end. But let's see what kind of new beginning you have with this new moon hitting your eighth house having to do with other people's resources. Might also have to do with intimacy, power dynamics and relationships. Um, eighth house is a lot of stuff, a lot of private, really super private stuff having to do with sex, money, you know, even the government, debt, taxes, death. Oh, wow. You know, okay, that came out. Um, wow, that's weird. Like, really? You got an opportunity to hold back there? Um, mm, I, I, I gotta, I gotta understand that one a little bit better. How is that an opportunity? You maybe don't see something. Okay, so what I'm getting now is you held yourself back or you you have not seen something because you didn't want to see it. Or you held yourself back because you didn't want to try to wrangle yourself out of this. I'm getting it. I'm hearing it was a dice. It's a dicey situation. Some of you are more comfortable just holding yourself back because to get yourself through this is like... If some of you don't see it, okay, I'm, I'm hearing cumbersome, it's like dicey, it's cumbersome to get out of this, um, and you don't see your way out of a conflict, okay? There's maybe also some conflict about your wishful thinking versus other people's wishful thinking. And it's like, well, how do we navigate this? But you have an opportunity Maybe to take the blindfold off and see something clearly about what options are viable and what options aren't in a group dynamic. I'm also getting that somebody's wishful thinking has been creating unnecessary drama. Okay, so there's an opportunity to kind of get clear on that. Or not. You got free will here. <laughs> Let's see what the challenge is at this time uh, with this. You got a lot. You got a lot. I'm going to take the ones that landed in the upright. Um, and when I see that, I got to tell you, somebody needs a private reading, right? I don't say it to all of you, only the, only when I see a lot. Some of you are, um, needing to, there, there's a blockage, okay? Um, uh, having to do with emotional work and cycles, working on cycles that have been going round and round and round. It might involve a Pisces, a Cancer, it might involve an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. And I'm also just being brought back to the fixed energy of this and it's faded and it's like, it's also major arcana. Like some of you, now I'm getting a lot of spiritual, like this might've been destined that there are some karmic cycles that you have gone through that you were slated to go through so that you can work on something that I don't know you're, that you're clear about. And it might have to do with using your intuition, um, working with spirituality. I'm also getting um, having to do with fears, doubts, insecurities, not seeing things clearly, and needing to work on getting more emotional and spiritual clarity. Some of you, it's just, I'm getting round and round and round. And it's it's like almost, I'm getting some kind of Energizer Bunny vibe. Like you just keep hacking on this and hacking on this, but do you ever break out of this cycle? And again, I'm getting a confusion here and here in the opportunity and in the blockage. Like you could, you have the ability to see past this, but have you blocked yourself from seeing it? Because there's something you don't want to see because it's disappointing because it triggers some kind of fear or insecurity within yourself that you're not ready to address or another person is not. It might be very subconscious, a, a, subcon a pattern in your subconsciousness that you keep going round and round about something because you're not 
And so every time a cycle restarts, you might get really optimistic and you start hammering at it again, but it's like, oh, something, there's some kind of emotional work that has to be done here. Whatever the pattern is, it keeps going on and on and on. I'm going to see what that is. Um, but it, it's a challenge, okay? It's showing up as a challenge. Somebody wants quick and instant results, and it might also be related to money. It might be related to um, this has been going on for a very, very long time. Somebody longing for quick and instant results. Um, somebody just wants to have a lucky streak, wants to be fortunate. They have a longing for this. But again, there's some kind of contrast of are you working on a lucky break, but it's not based. It's kind of like it's not really grounded. I'm going to be honest with all this water here. This is not really grounded. It's like you're working on something that's not grounded. It's pie in the sky. I'm sorry. It's almost like you got to work on something more 3D, which I, I can't even believe I'm saying that, but I feel like this, this, this spiritual emotional stuff is, is kind of, I'm going to get off of that. Cause I feel like I just got into some deep stuff and, uh, you know, I've only got 10 minutes to make it pop in TikTok land. So let's see what could unexpectedly happen in this time. What could happen unexpectedly during this time? Please show me. Somebody moving on. Okay. Somebody moving on at the foundation is wish fulfillment and happiness. Well, what is going to make you happy? Because... I'm getting the wish, the hoping and wishing over here, but there's a conflict around it. And I think that somebody's just going to go after, you know, tell me what that is about. That's showing up in your fifth house. So this might have to do with children, fun, dating, romance. Somebody just decides to move the heck on. Um, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, somebody younger than you, possibly. Um, I, I think this air sign or whoever this is or whatever this is, they're showing up really not interested they, it's like they're moving on because they're not interested in something that again I'm getting there's something at odds here about what brings happiness on an emotional level and somebody's just kind of getting on from it if this is not like a child or somebody younger than you it could be like um, maybe a dating partner or something like that, okay? Because we're, when we're talking about fifth house, um, yeah, that's what that implies. I, I think that people are going on towards, you know, their own happiness. I will say that, that's at the foundation. And I'm, I'm getting this very, you know, with the chariot card, maybe Sagittarius, Cancer is relevant, but I get this vibe like people are going after their happiness. However, I think there's a conflict about, you know, how to bring that heaven down to earth and how do you work on this to, you know, get tangible results? There might be an issue here um, with the offerings card about, you know, gratitude and knowing that, um, you know, blessings have flowed through to you, to flow through you, and having appreciation for the ability to be blessed so that you can be a blessing. This is a lot about thankfulness and knowing that whatever it is that you give appreciation for in your life, it is going to grow and expand. Okay, and the intimacy issues advice from my deck is insecure. I can't give what I don't have. Um, I, I saw it over here, okay? There's an insecurity issue that somebody needs to work on. And it might be creating a domino effect in a group dynamic or at least with one other person where they're like, you know what, I, that's what you want does not give me emotional security. Therefore, we cannot come together. Vulnerability, true intimacy requires emotional nakedness. Soulmates, you're learning from one another and helping each other heal and grow. Trauma bonded, have you confused intensity with intimacy? Hope that helps.